Cristiano, I think it would be fair to say this is your best season ever. You've gone past the 15-goal mark. How would you describe this season for you, and uh, why are you scoring so many goals? Well, uh, I think uh, this season, uh, so far, I think uh, the team played very well. I score a few goals important. Uh, I think this is the, my best, my best uh, moment. I play well, I feel good, I feel stronger. The team uh, is very good as well, and this is why uh, everything come, come natural. I score, score many goals, and I hope to, to carry on with, with this. What is different this year for Manchester United to be in first place? Because over the last two years, Chelsea was always leading the way. What's changed, do you think? No, I think the the team now I think is more more mature. Uh, I think uh, you play you play very well. Uh, the team is more compact. The spirit is better, and uh, the results speak for itself. I think the team play very well. Uh, you don't lose uh, many games in home. I think play uh, lose one, and this is very important. Uh, I think uh, the team it's uh, in, a, in a good in a good way, and you need to carry on with this. You are the top in the league. It's, it's, it's good. It would be fair to say as well, I think, that you were one of the faces of uh, Manchester United. Talk a little bit about how you feel being a symbol of the club and what kind of pressure you, you feel or what, how you deal with the media attention. No, I don't, I don't think uh, about this. Uh, of course, it's always important to be recognized uh, in the world. But um, symbol the club. I don't think so. I think uh, I'm. Uh, I play good. I'm in a good moment. Uh, help the team. And uh, I'm good. I'm feel. I'm feel very well. I don't have more responsibility for for so many goals or in the top in the in the league. I'm. I'm good. I feel. I'm feel good with this pressure. You are known all over the world for your dribbling skills for your technique. How much do you practice your dribbling and how much do you practice your technique and how much of it is improvisation? Uh, I think it's come natural in me. Uh, I'm born with this, but uh, it's good. If you want to be better, you need a practice, you need a training art. This is what I do. I do in the training, I do in the games. And uh, I think if you want to be the best, you need a practice always. After the World Cup, you were a target for English fans who booed when you touched the ball because of what happened in the World Cup match between England and Portugal. How did you react to that and did that make you a stronger person overall? In Manchester, the fans of Manchester is, is unbelievable. I think uh, he helped every time, any time. And this is, uh, this is very good for me. Uh, of course, when I play away, everybody boo for me. But uh, I don't I don't think about this. I think only about the game, uh, my concentration uh, only in the game. And this is what I do. I don't I don't care if people boo for me. I keep my concentration on the game to do right things. And this is what I try to do. How do you deal with? Um, we've talked a little bit about the pressure, but how do you deal with, you know, being a target for? other players on other teams, for other fans on other teams. You say that you just concentrate on your game, but is it hard to focus just on the match? I think for me it's better when the people go for me. <laughs> I don't, serious, I don't, uh, for me it's not, it's not a problem. If people go for me, it's because I'm dangerous, if it's because I do something good. And for me it's not, it's not a problem, but uh, you do this always. Maybe it's not, it's not good, but the people uh, do what you want, and for me it's not a problem. I keep my concentration on the game and t t to try to do good things for, for help my team. What about outside uh, the, the matches and what about away from the field? Is it hard for you to keep your concentration? Because everybody wants a piece of Cristiano Ronaldo. Everybody wants to talk to Cristiano Ronaldo. It's very, it's very good atmosphere outside the, the football. Everybody is, is fantastic. Uh, he speak, he speak for me. Say, yeah, you you play very well. Stay in the club. Uh, play like that. Play like that. And it's it's amazing for me uh, outside the pitch. And uh, everyone speak good for me. And this is this is good. 
You were very young when you came to England and you left Portugal. How tough was your adaptation to the country, to the culture, um, and how much did your family help? Is what I think uh, my adaptation wasn't too difficult uh, because I brought my family, and this is why Mohiza, my my adaptation here in the club. But uh, uh, of course, uh, when I'm arrived here, I don't speak nothing, nothing English, and uh, but it's not, it wasn't too difficult. Uh, I speak here with uh, a few friends, Spanish, and it's not, it's not too complicated. I think it's, it's easy. Sir Alex Ferguson is a very experienced manager. He's been at the club for many years. How was your relationship with him, and how much did he help you when you first arrived at the club? My opinion about uh, the Ferguson is like, is I think it's a very woman, woman person, very funny, it's a good, good man. This is why I'm here in the club. Uh, I think it's a, it's a great coach. He's very good. But in the past, he's been quite tough with some of the other major stars like David Beckham and Ruud van Nistelrooy, Roy Keane. Um, do you think that there could be a problem between you and him if you get too big for the club? So until now, I don't feel nothing. I think uh, my relationship with him is uh, is very good. Uh, I want to keep going with this. I don't have problem with him and Car with Carlos or Walter. I think uh, the staff it's it's very good. But the speci specially uh, coach, I think it's it's a good. I don't I don't have problem with him. Maybe these players have problem. I don't know why. But you need uh, you need to ask these questions to the boss. <laughs> I don't know the reason. But is he tough on the players when they don't do what he wants them to do? Of course, when what you do, you what you don't do uh, correct things. Uh, he speak with you, maybe angry about the games when you lose. It's normal in the coaches, and uh, you need to, sometimes you need to listen. And this is opinion the the coach. You need to listen.